Um, before I met Sri Mataji, I was a student, and uh, I, I happened to be going to, with John, we were going to a yoga class. Um, I just decided I wanted to get fit, so we went to a Hatha yoga class. And the girl who was running the class had seen a, a poster of Sri Mataji. I hadn't seen it, but I think you, you'd seen a fo uh, poster there. Uh, Anyway, she'd seen a poster of Shumataji, or she knew something about Shumataji, and she said, um, she said, I've heard of this lady. I, she said, I've heard she's very good. Would you like to come along? So we said, well, yeah, it's all right then. So we just, it kind of, we went along not knowing anything about what we were going to, you know, just because this girl had said, you know, I think she's very good. So we went along, and um, there were, we went to Dr. Johnson House in Birmingham, and it was 1988. And... Um, was it? Yes, 1978. 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, 78. 78, yeah, 78. So, were you and John married then? Or no, we weren't married. We were, <laughs> we were going out with each other. <laughs> no, I, I was just <coughs> And uh, so we went <coughs> and we sat down, and there were uh, probably about 30 people in the room, maybe. I thought I remember about 30. And um, she actually started talking, and I thought, well, I really like what this lady's saying. You know, she seems very, very genuine. and. Um, you know, she's struck a chord in me. So I liked what she was saying, and then she she gave realization, and she um, I can't exactly remember what she did, but I remember she came down and she came down to every single person, and she worked on everybody in the room, and she came to me and she said, uh, "You must say the Lord's Prayer three times to yourself," and then she moved on and worked on somebody else. And then she came back to me after a while, and, and then she put her hand above my head, and she said, ah, you've got it. And I sort of looked at her, and I thought, well, what have I got? Because I couldn't feel anything, actually. I couldn't feel, I didn't feel cool breeze, and I didn't feel vibrations. I didn't feel anything. I didn't feel different. I didn't feel thoughtless, even. Yes. Um, so I thought, you know, after she left, and, you know, she was working on people, I thought, well, this is, you know, it all sounds very nice, but obviously it's not for me. Okay. So, you know, at that point, I thought, well, you know, it's a shame, but... <clears throat> and then um, we got to the end of the meeting, and I can't remember who it was, but it might have been Bala, who, who said, it, everybody here, would you like to come up, and would you like to come and uh, kiss Sri Mataji's feet? So we all got up, and we just stood in a line, and we went to kiss Sri Mataji's feet. <laughs> wow. And I didn't think anything of it. I didn't think, I'm not doing that, or yes, that would be really great. Uh, I just thought, okay, okay then. <laughs> so we all stood in a line, and we went to kiss Sri Mataji's feet. I think I remember her putting a hand on my back uh, when she did that. Uh, so that was that experience. And But I went home not feeling anything. I didn't feel vibrations at all. <clears throat> but I went to bed, and when I woke up the next morning, I went downstairs, uh, I went out to get a paper. And I remember walking along the, along the street, actually feeling completely different. And I, I, I remember thinking, I feel slightly drunk. Mm -hmm. I was walking along feeling very lightheaded and thinking, well, something must have happened last night. So that so was. You got to. So I thought, well, I must have got something, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that day, um, well, previously, John had, or had asked the person who was organising the meeting um, if we could see Shramachi again. And um, he said, yes, you can come to my house. We, uh, and it was Bala, and he was living in Tamworth at the time. So. Um, we both went that day, the Sunday, the day after we got our realisation, to Bala's house in Tamworth, and we, we walked into the living room. It was just a little semi-detached house, in, in a modern semi-detached in Tamworth. And we walked in, and there were a few people there, probably sort of 15, 20 people, I think. And we came in, and I remember seeing uh, there were a couple of armchairs, and obviously one chair was set up for Shumatiki to sit in, and there's one next to it, and I said, was anybody sitting in that one? <laughs> I said no, so I went and sat in it. <laughs> it's embarrassing now. So I just sat in it, and I, <laughs> and I sat in. And I put my feet up, you know, and I, <laughs> you know, and, and she ran to came in and sat in her chair, and, um, and she turned to me, and I was sort of right next to her like this, and she said to me, uh, she said, "Can you feel the vibrations? Put your hands out. Can you feel the vibrations?" So I said. No. <laughs> and she said, put your hand above your head. And I said, I did that. Can you feel the vibrations now? And she said, and I said, no. And uh, she just laughed, you know, and she went on to the next person. So I came out, obviously, 
I should have been feeling something, but I wasn't. Um, and I can't remember a lot about that meeting, but I do remember um, she mattered, you went and she, she addressed everybody in the room. They were all sitting on the floor. And she said to one girl who was just sitting there and not doing anything, she said, you must forgive your father. And this girl just burst into tears. She suddenly just burst into tears. And uh, I think she said something like, uh, you, you have to respect your parents. You may not like them, but you have to respect them, or something like that. Mm -hmm. And so that was that. That was the, the end of that experience, really. Okay.